What's up guys, Anthony here from Empire Customs and today we are reviewing the 1 12th scale Boba Fett um, I guess miniature model um, so this is the kit right here now a bit of a preface about this I took full video of me building the thing that was like time lapse and all of it got deleted I don't know why um, I really have no idea as to why that happened, but, um, yeah, so I'm just making this short little video, um, this does have a photo, uh, sorry, video of the, like, miniature in it as well. I keep trying to send mannequin, I don't know why. Um, anyway, this right here is what we were dealing with. I'll just tilt this down. Um, so as you can see, some of the details on there. Um, this is a 12, a 112 scale um, miniature of Boba Fett. This is not like a um, battle damaged version at all. I do have a lot of paint that I'm probably going to do in fu a future video, like me kind of battle damaging it. Um, it did come with some stickers as well, some uh, water decals, as you can see. These I probably will be putting on, I just haven't gotten around to it, I've just finished this today. So, um, yeah, I just want to see how easily these come off. I think you need to soak them, and then they come off that way. But some of them are extreme, yeah, this, you need to soak them and they come off. Some of them are extremely small, so it would require a set of, like, tweezers or, like, a little, um, micro blade or something like that. Um, so yeah, this kit is made by Bandai, it was released in 2018, I got it from my local Ollie's discount store, Ollie's, Ollie's, whatever you want to call it, discount store, um, I did actually go in there looking for a trapper, I think it was a trapper wall helmet, um, that was currently going for $30, and I ended up not finding one of those, and I walked out with this, and a couple other pieces, um, so yeah. Um, before I go on, the next video that I will be doing is a um, Lego build, so it's like a Lego um, Star Destroyer build um, that I'll be doing, which will also be time-lapsed, and that'll take quite a bit of time. Um, so yeah, moving on, so this is what it looks like from the side on this package. Do excuse the reflection, I'm currently filming at night and I've got like a light behind me, so kind of why it's reflecting so much. So that's what that looks like. Um, now again, they're showing a very battle damaged look here. So, and that is not what this miniature looks like. Okay, so the thing is extremely delicate. Um, as you can see, it does come with like a gun and whatnot, which has been bent out of shape. Uh, this, oh, it almost just fell over. This is like the, it can move around, the limbs do bend, and um, so do the arms and whatnot. Now with this kit I got, I had two pieces missing. A piece for one of the arms, and a piece for the, um, one of the legs I believe it was, so I did have to use some glue for that. Um, but as you can see, it is a pretty nice looking model. It was only $13. So retail, like off Amazon, these go for 40 or 50 bucks to build. These are pre-painted, so you don't need to paint them if you don't choose to. Um, I probably will be going into a little bit more detail in painting this one as it goes on. Um, and yeah, as I said earlier, it, it can get very easily like bent out, as you can see his arms kind of moved out the way, so I'm going to try and put it down and move that back without knocking it over, <coughs> which is a little difficult. So let me see if I bring that up. Yeah, it's it's hard to kind of position it correctly. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to hold it with the fingers on his feet. There we go. So as you can see, it does, he does have his jetpack, it does have his cape. Um, none of it is battle damaged. He does not have all of his decal decals on him. It does come with this blaster and also this pistol, 
or gun, whatever you want to call it. He is very difficult to position to allow for him to stand. And if you move some of his legs and whatnot around too much, um, pieces do come off. So everything was assembled. It didn't come like this. I had to assemble every little piece, including all the joints for his feet and everything. Um, so yeah, this is the Boba Fett Bandai um, miniature, I guess you could say. It's, I believe, 12 inches tall. No, it's not 12 inches. It's like seven or eight inches tall. So yeah. Um, in future, I will be doing a lot more build videos. This is just a quick little video. This took me around two hours to build. It was somewhat complex. My fingers do hurt. Um, it was probably closer to like three hours, I would say. Um, with pieces being broken and whatnot or missing. Um, it did kind of add to the build time a little bit. So I had to go out and get glue and then get like a um, wood burner to kind of melt some pieces together and whatnot. Um, final thoughts on this, I'd probably give this like probably a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Um, most of the pieces fit together very nicely and aren't, don't feel cheap. There's only like two or three pieces that feel cheap, like the, um, the, um, stock of his gun, as you can see, is kind of bent out of shape. It can bend very easily. Um, the, um... <clears throat> like uh, rope kind of pieces as well are very easy to break and very difficult to uh, to like disconnect from the um, model housing. Um, the pistol is a little bit like difficult and finicky to like put together and the base itself is very very annoying to position him on. So yeah this will be going Behind me on one of the shelves, I'm going to set up like a big long shelf probably along the bottom where that Darth Vader um, picture is and where that R2-D2 magazine is. Set up a nice long shelf along there for a couple of miniatures and whatnot. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I will be doing more videos like this and more build videos. As I said, the footage of this build did get lost, unfortunately. So this is probably going to be like a seven or eight minute video. So yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Everything helps. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much.